Welcome to our channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to use Excel's filter function to check for multiple criteria. In the first example, I want to create a list of people that work in the data center division, and they are part of the finance department. Let's get started with filter. First, add the array, which I want returned. Next is the include argument. I want to include everyone who works in the data center division, so I'm going to select the data in the division column and check whether this equals data sender. Let's now include the finance department. Because I'm using the end condition, I'm going to multiply this with our second criteria, which checks whether the department is finance. We use multiplication here to check if both conditions are true at the same time. If both conditions are true, their product is true. If either one is false, the product is false. The include argument returns everything that's not zero, and that's why we see this result. Okay, what if you want to create a list of people that work in the data center division or they are part of the finance department? The only thing you need to do is change this multiplication sign to a plus sign, and that's it. The include argument returns all the non-zero values, and that's why we see this result. Now it's time to use the third condition. What if you want to create a list of people whose salary is greater than this value? Modify the include argument. Use multiplication and add the condition using the salary column. The result looks great. Finally, use the choose calls function if you want to display only the names in the salary. In the example, I want to show only the second and fourth columns, so type 2, then use 4. Thanks for watching. For more Excel content, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned.